Okay, we're going to measure alineation uh, for this part of the exercise. Uh, let's again describe what we see here in front of us. We've got a bedding surface, a sedimentary bedding surface. We've got a series of fractures coming through, cutting through here like that. In addition, we've got a tectonic cleavage coming through like that. So where this cleavage intersects the bedding surface, we have this line here, and that's what we're interested in. We're going to measure the orientation of this line or lineation. It's quite often useful to put a pen or a, a pencil along the lineation to help you uh, visualize what you're measuring. So I'm going to take this piece of a, a twig and align it along the lineation like so, and that will help me uh, to more accurately measure the lineation uh, in the field. First thing I'm going to do is take the compass, position yourself directly over the line. I'm aligning the long axis of the compass parallel to the line in question, the lineation in question, which is here represented by this twig. The lineation is a bedding cleavage intersection lineation. Once I've aligned the long axis of the compass parallel to the line of interest, I rotate the face of the compass, keeping it aligned such that the needle and the arrow are parallel to each other. I have two readings. I've got one here 092 and one over here of 272. The line is plunging in that direction. It's plunging in that direction. So I'm going to take the reading on, I have to take the reading on this side of the, the compass face. And that gives me a trend reading of 092. To measure the plunge of that line, we need to set up the clinometer. So again, we align it east-west. We're now holding the compass vertically in that plane like so. And we simply align the compass, along axis of the compass, along the line of interest. Okay, and then make sure that it's vertical, that it's not tilting out or tilting back, that it's aligned vertically like so. And then we can read off our value, uh, which approximately in this case is 30 degrees. <laughs>